Good morning guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am sharing with you a full day of eating. It has been a while since I posted a full day of eating and I know that you guys usually enjoy these videos so I'm super excited to show you what today is going to consist of. I really have no idea of what meals I'm going to be putting together so we're just going to go with the flow and see what it ends up being. Um, I am currently five weeks postpartum as of today and I was previously pumping as well as um, formula feeding and I have been weeding off pumping and just going with formula so I no longer have to eat in a calorie surplus to make sure that I'm getting the nutrients to be able to pump and to be able to feed my little babies so um, if you're curious I'm not breastfeeding I'm not pumping um, but let's go ahead and get started with today's video I already got my coffee going I just made my greens and I wanted to quickly share with you what vitamins I'm taking Taking. Um, right now I am still taking a prenatal vitamin which I don't need to be taking I will switch back to a multivitamin I'm also taking fish oil as well as a vitamin D and a vitamin C so those are the vitamins that I take on a daily basis and I like to have them with my greens I'm currently drinking the Bomar nutrition greens which I'm really enjoying I love the ingredients in these it's hundred percent organic and yeah the just ingredient list is really really good so this has become my new favorite so I'm gonna go ahead and drink this and then start up with breakfast. So I'm just about to head out to the grocery store. I think I'm gonna make a zucchini lasagna for lunch. It'll probably take me like an hour and a half to make it and it's already getting a little bit later on in the day but that's okay, I'll just eat a later lunch. I'm gonna go out, get some groceries and then make that zucchini lasagna. I did wanna go ahead and show you my outfit because it's a new outfit or a new collection that's launching from Balance Athletica and I'm so obsessed with it. So just a second. All right, so here is the outfit. I am wearing the Select Joggers. These are in a size small and I am so obsessed with these joggers. The material is so, so soft. And then I'm also wearing the Summit jacket. The quality of this jacket is seriously amazing. If you want to see a full in-depth review of the pieces that are launching, I did just post a new YouTube video. It'll be the last YouTube video that I posted. I'll go ahead and link it here and I'll also put it in the description box, but I love the pieces that are launching. So if you're interested in seeing what's coming out or this video will probably be posted after the launch, the launch is on Monday at February 24th at 12 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, um, you can go ahead and watch that video. So I'm gonna head to the grocery store. I just got back from the grocery store. I picked up all of the things that I need for a zucchini lasagna. I really like making this recipe because it's a recipe that I can just throw together. I can add in different things, take different things out, and it usually turns out pretty good. Um, for zucchini lasagna, if you wanna make sure that your um, lasagna doesn't get really watery, you do wanna dehydrate your zucchini ahead of time. So I like to dehydrate mine in the oven. You can also do it on a barbecue. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, cut up the zucchini nice and thin into thin slices, and then I'll put it in a cook on a cookie sheet in the oven, um, and that will be what I will replace the noodles with. I am going to add in one layer of noodles just because I do like the taste of noodles in my lasagna. So I'll probably do one layer of noodles, and then I'll do one or two layers of zucchini, um, and then I will show you the rest of the ingredients that I'm gonna throw in as well. So I'm not sure that I'll be using 
using all of these ingredients. I'll just kind of go with the flow and add things in as I feel I need. I'll go ahead and put the recipe in the description box. So if you're wondering what I ended up using, um, you will be able to find it there. So I just picked up four zucchinis. I picked up an onion, some mushrooms. You can definitely do fresh mushrooms if you want to. Um, I already had these sliced mushrooms in my pantry, so I'm gonna use those. Um, this is the pasta sauce that I'm going to use. If you want to make it a little bit lower calorie, you can definitely pick out a marinara versus a four cheese. Um, this one's just like a little bit creamier. The cheese that I like to use is cheddar. I like to use old um, cheddar just because it's a nice sharp taste. I find that I can just use less um, cheese versus using mozzarella. I find I need to use a little bit more, so I prefer to use this cheese. I'm also going to add in some cottage cheese. Um, this is the noodles that I'm using, and then I am going to do half beef, and this is extra lean ground beef, and I'm going to do half turkey. So um, those are all the ingredients I'll be using. I don't think I'll need both of these. I also don't think I'm going to need all four um, zucchinis, but we will see. I'm just going to start to make it and then just add things in. When I was out, I also picked up a monster, so I'm just going to be sipping on this as well. So I ended up cutting up three of the zucchinis. So I am have them on the cookie sheets right here. I'm gonna stick them in the oven at 400. Not sure exactly how long they're gonna need to be in the oven for them to be dehydrated. Again, it really depends on like how thick you cut them and also how much you're cooking. So I'm just gonna chuck them in the oven and then I will let you know how long I end up cooking them for. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get started on cooking the meat. that I'm going to be using to cook the lasagna in. It's a super like deep dish pan, so I'm definitely not gonna be filling it up to the top. Um, but it kind of gives me an idea of how much like noodles and how much zucchini I'm gonna be needing. So for the noodles, I'm thinking I'm gonna use about half of this box. I like to cook the noodles so they're about like three quarters cooked. So it says to cook them for 10 minutes. I'm probably gonna cook them for about seven minutes. Um, so the water's boiling right now. And then in the oven, it will cook the noodles all the way through and there'll be lots of liquids with the um, pasta sauce which I finished cooking here it is as well as um, the zucchini because that will still let off um, lots of water as well So we ended up cooking the zucchini, the sliced zucchini for about 20 minutes in the oven at 400. Now I just put together the lasagna. It is in the oven. I'm gonna cook it for probably about 30 to 40 minutes and it's cooking at 375. In the meantime, while it's cooking, I'm going to have a little snack. I'm gonna have two of the Oikos yogurts. This is the triple zero, so it's just zero artificial sweeteners, zero preservatives, zero fat, and it's just a little bit less sugar. That's why I prefer to cho choose these ones over the regular ones. Um, so I'm going to snack on both of these while I wait. 
All right, so the lasagna is done. I took it out of the oven a while ago. It's just been sitting out for probably like 45 minutes. It definitely doesn't need to set that long, but I just wasn't hungry yet. Um, so this is the final product. This is what it looks like. Obviously, this is a massive portion, and Chris doesn't like zucchini lasagna, so I am going to um, keep a little bit in the fridge for me for the next couple days, and then I'll probably freeze the rest. I like to freeze it individually just so that when I do thaw it, I can just just have one portion size that's what I find um, works best for me I can pull it out for a lunch or for a random dinner here or there so that is what I'll do with the remainder of this but I'm really excited to try it and to see if I like it I usually get a lot of questions about the glasses that I'm wearing so these were actually sent to me from a company called TIJN eyewear and I have been loving them I've been using them for probably about a month now maybe even a little bit longer oops almost dropped the camera um, and I I really like these glasses. I will show you another pair that I have sitting right here that I also really like that I got from them. The prescription feels like it um, is it, the prescription feels good and I really like the glasses. They seem like they're pretty good quality. So overall, I'm really impressed with the company. I'll just leave their Instagram handle here if you're interested. This video is not sponsored or anything. Um, I just uh, had them sent to me and I'm really liking the glasses. So I'm going to eat some lasagna and then in a couple of hours, we will cook up some tacos for dinner. Alright, now for the last meal of the day, I am going to make some tacos. Chris is going to have tacos, I'm going to have a taco salad. This is one of like our go-to staple meals. We probably have it like once every week or once every two weeks, um, whenever I just want something that's really quick and easy to throw together. This is the meal that we choose. So um, the meat that we're going to have is just some extra lean ground beef and then I will show you all the ingredients that I'm adding in to the taco salad. I like to top off the salad with um, salsa as my salad dressing as well as plain Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt, as I've mentioned before, is such a great substitute to, uh, uh, to sour cream. It's just lower in calorie, higher in protein. So, and it honestly tastes pretty similar, especially when it's all mixed into a salad. So that's what I top it off with. And then, um, yeah, other than that, I will go ahead and show you what else I'm going to add to my salad. going to finish up this salad and then I'm gonna have some dessert and that takes us to the end of my full day of eating we are headed out to a friend's house right now we're gonna go watch a fight a UFC fight I believe and I am going to enjoy a beer or a glass of wine which I'm really excited about um, so if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up it just helps support me and my channel and I really appreciate it and if you're not subscribed to make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can watch any videos that I post in the future so thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time